welding lines. I've assembled this with no glue, no adhesive of any kind. There we go, we're using some uh, wing nuts to uh, hold the thing on. It's not quite straight yet, I'm still working through it. I've got a little assembly here for the for the bonnet, or the hood. The, uh, the little arm comes up and it's got a latch. If you get your finger under it just right. There we go. It holds it shut. This thing printed in a bunch of parts. I had to print the, uh, the roof, the hood, the bonnet, wheel arches, tray, the bed, the whole thing. Now if you look closely, you can see uh, welding, welding lines. I've assembled this with no glue, no adhesive of any kind. What I used was a cheap 3D printing pen. Now I bought the original Kickstarter um, 3 Doodler or 3D Doodler. I think it was 3 Doodler. Um, that used a bigger filament. I've got it here somewhere. Can't see the pen, but the um, you had to buy the filament in these packs and they were a specific diameter. And 3D printing was newer back then. But when you're left with uh, all these pieces from the ends of your rolls, these pens are really handy because what you can do, and I'll, I'll use white here. While I wait for it to warm up, I can tell you there's a directional, now they're not all the same, but there's a directional button for in and out. It's got a shroud, which is removable. So now I'm going to feed some filament. I'll use white just because it's easier to see on camera. In fact, it's already extruding. So you feed some white in. I've got it set on a pretty fast speed at the moment. There we go, all right. So it's going to extrude black because that's what I was using and you'll see it turn gray. This is just PLA. There we go. And now it's white so you can see it. You can hear it do a retraction at the end. So I've got two pieces of PLA here just to demonstrate this. What you need to do is, it's pretty much what you'd think. You have the pieces aligned. You're gonna to need to clean it up afterwards, but it's kind of like, it takes practice, right? Now that's a straight, that's a straight weld. You hear the retraction at the end. Once it cools, it'll be strong and it holds. But this can still be broken with some effort. Oh no. All right, well it's stronger than I thought. You could also do this. Make like a zigzag kind of pattern. Now weight with a crawler is always a consideration. And if this was completely an invisible weld or weight was an issue, you could just buttress the back of it. But the beauty of a 3D pen is that you don't need to have it touching all the time. So you can actually draw it between, hopefully you can see this, get it anchored. That may not be my best work to be honest. I haven't done this for a little while, but you end up with something that's actually honestly quite strong. I, I'm pressing that pretty hard and, and it's actually flexing because it's PLA, but it's not breaking. Uh, so that's, that's rather cool. And just while we're talking 3D pens, even though I know this is old news, if you have a gap, let's just say we had a gap to bridge and it was hidden. I'll make it so it's easy to see. You can actually draw your way across. Now, that's kind of weak, but it's a start. Now, that's a lot stronger. Now, it's even stronger. Now, triangles are always the best uh, shape to use for strength. Once this cools, it'll be hot because it's just been extruded. In fact, I'll empty this pen now. So that's what came out the other end. All right, and we'll clear that now while it's still hot. And I'm just gonna unplug it. It's a uh, 12 volt, two amp, I think. I'll put a link for this pen in the description. This is just one of many, but I do have an affiliate link with Banggood to help me grow the channel. Uh, so I'll stick that down. And if you're interested in these things, they don't cost very much. And they take 
you can get different sizes, but they take the standard um, 1.75mm filament, so that's fine. So this is cooled now, and I did a very lazy bridge here. So it's, it's only bridged on the one side, we didn't bridge it on the back, but it still is strong enough that I can hold that there and I'll hold this here. It's, it's got plenty of strength, so it's now the one rigid piece of plastic, and I can possibly even... I'm going to increase force here and we'll see what happens. I'm using plenty of force to the point where this is bending. It's PLA, so it will hold that. Um, that's a strong join. So, these 3D pens are great. And that, I'll get that out of the way, that is how I put this thing together. It, um, I used brass hinges for the hood, so the thing opens. And uh, I even had a battery box for a battery to go in. So this is the uh, HP 407 with my own body, and I'll, well, I used someone's body they kindly uh, shared on um, Thingiverse, I'll share that soon. And I'm going to use the Bruiser clone body on another machine, but uh, that's, I just thought I'd, I'd tell you all about um, 3D pens if you haven't heard of them. They're, again, old news now, but uh, for our little hobby and 3D printing and people sharing their uh, designs, they're, they really are a, um, a revelation for combining body parts. I really like them. That's all for today. I'll catch you next time.